Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today I will be looking at the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer and Warzone 2.0 reveal trailer. Now I have actually already seen this because I tried recording this video before, but my microphone didn't get picked up and so... Yeah, I can't. I was gonna do a reaction video, but this is going to be then my thoughts on it. <laughs> let's go with that. So let's move right to the video. I'm gonna watch it, be watching it first, and then I'll be going back to key moments that I think are very interesting that has either interesting information or the things happening, questions, things like that. So let's watch this thing through, shall we? All right, here we go, straight into the action. Multiplayer reveal. Let's do this. Beautiful. But the thing, but the map, <laughs> the scenery. <laughs> oh boy. Never seen activity on this scale before. They have an army. But we have each other. The world is a vampire. The water thing, by the way? Awesome. I'll be going back to that. That was very interesting as well. Juggernaut. Let's go. Locate the prisoners and move them to extraction. Enemies above. Drill charge. Rainbow Six Siege. Anyone? You're gonna be okay. Hostage secure. Hello there. <laughs> Do not let them cross the border. Take him out. Boom. Recognize that sound? I think... I think this is the new Warzone map. Those will be interesting. The brand new gunsmith, I'm very excited for this as well. Weather system? Anyone? I'm on my way. Awesome. All right, let's go back because there are some very interesting things that I want to cover here. Okay, first things first. Look at the scenery. It looks amazing. <laughs> but one thing right away. Notice this water. The water is extremely pretty. And hold on. Car, helicopter, tank? Can you see that from the webcam? Yes. Some sort of tank, which also shows up later as well. And look at this as well. Underwater combat? Like, it looks really, really awesome. Basically, any of the recent Call of Duties we've had, if you walk into the water, you basically just insta-die. But this, they have incorporated water mechanics to the game. So just like they're doing here, flowing through parts of the map as a team and doing that, <laughs> that is gonna be awesome. Now, this I found really interesting. This. Holding the primary weapon while also pulling out the secondary while holding the primary weapon up because he just takes it up, puts it down, and then takes the primary up. It's no weapons. There's no weapon swap here. Like it's super quick and efficient. I'll be interested about that mechanic as well because that looks awesome. Now this is the new heartbeat sensor as well. And come on now. And so I think what they have done here is they have 
They still have the heartbeat sensor, but but it has a battery now, so you can't just keep using it as, as you've been able to in the current war zone. You actually need to, I guess, either replenish it, like switch it out, or when it dies, it dies, which is a really cool feature, hindering people from just using them constantly, which I think is a really awesome feature. And what I really like about this happy sensor as well is that it has the compass here, so east, southeast, etc., which I would assume would match with where the player is pointing, allowing for way easier communication with other team members, because you won't have to actually look down on the heartbeat sensor and then look up at your own compass in order to see the specific thing. And then instantly, right after that, we got the drill charge, which I guess is a new kill streak thing which basically you throw it up and then above it makes a huge explosion very much reminds me of rainbow six siege which i'm all for so hostage i think this is a new multiplayer game mode where basically there are two teams a team that is supposed to go in and extract the hostage and then the other team is obviously trying to make it so they don't extract the hostage and so here we see another sort of equipment here basically a camera I guess where the player can look through, maybe gets an alert when someone enters the field of view of the camera, maybe? I don't know how this is going to work. This is, uh, I'm looking forward to this as well. And then this. <laughs> That's awesome. So I think that's a new mechanic where you can hang off of ledges and stuff like that, which is going to be really, really awesome. Hello there. And now this. Listen to it. So this, I believe, is Warzone 2.0 stuff, because that's the current sound for when you enter the Warzone area. So this, I assume, is the new Warzone map. It looks very, from the from the other stuff that we see as well, very desert-y, which is, I, I'm all for it. But notice as well, one, two, three, four, five people flying in formation, maybe a sixth one. So that could indicate that we're getting some adjustments to not just having solo, duos, trios, and quads, maybe some other stuff as well, I don't know. But look at the scenery as well. As we can see, if we pause it right here, we got a bunch of stuff. We got some sort of mountains in the, in the background. I assume that's like outside of the actual map. Well, it might not be, I don't know how big the map is, but we can see a huge desert area. We got some sort of harbor area over here. We got a bunch of buildings and stuff here, a bridge, even more buildings and PYs over here. This looks huge. We got some river stuff down here as well. And so here we see even more of the new Warzone map. And then the remote controlled C4, basically. That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I mean, that's what you think about this. That's actually going to be a really awesome way of taking care of someone camping in a, in a building, I guess. If that's actually going to work, but I assume you would be able to fly in a window with this thing and then blow it up and then... Well, you clear a room that way. And then, of course, we got the floating uh, mine that you can throw down and now blow up boats. And then the brand new gunsmith. Basically, from what I've understood is before in the previous Call of Duties like Modern Warfare from 2019, Cold War, etc., a gun would be able to be leveled up to, let's say, level 55. And throughout, you would unlock all the, like, the sights and the barrels and all that good stuff. But a lot of the sights and the barrels would be the same for every gun. However, with the new gunsmith, I believe the way it works is, say, a gun can only be leveled up to level 20. However, every gun has a unique set of attachments, but when you unlock an attachment in one gun, it will be usable on all of your guns. So say an LMG unlocks a certain type of barrel. When I unlock it, I'll actually be able to use that barrel on my SMGs and assault rifles, like that kind of thing. I think this is great because it's going to give you, first of all, it's going to be more manageable leveling up guns if you only need to level them up to level 20 instead of level 55 or 65 for that matter. Oof. But not only that, number two is you get encouraged to work on other guns you wouldn't normally use. So as an example, when Vanguard got released, I mainly focused on just SMGs and assault rifles because that's the guns I was going to use in Warzone. I didn't really focus on pistols and LMGs and stuff like that. However, with the new gunsmith here, I'll actually be encouraged to use some of these other guns because I might want to unlock a certain sight or maybe another barrel or a specific magazine that is in one of those guns like level trees or unlock trees. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Now this third person mode, I'm not sure if I like it. I'll definitely be down to try it, but I don't feel like it's Call of Duty E. Does that make sense? But we'll see. It might be cool. Now here we see the new Warzone map again. We got some sort of airfield over here to the left, a storm brewing. So maybe we have a potentially new weather system. And we got a bunch of buildings, a little tiny island over there. Now this I'm confused about. 
tanks. Can we deploy tanks? It looks like we could deploy tanks. Now this again, I mentioned it earlier, underwater mechanics, it is gonna be awesome. Awesome. Well, that's it for the reveal trailer. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like. And just as a note, I will be live streaming the early access open beta on September the 22nd. I need to still figure out what time it releases and whatnot. So at some point I'll try and schedule a stream for it, but I'll be streaming it for sure. So make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on so you don't miss it. You can also follow me on Twitter and stuff like that, where I'll try and post on there as well when I go live. But anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below in the comments what feature of these things that you are most excited for. Down below in the comments let me know. But yeah, like I said, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Have a wonderful day and until next time, goodbye.